Hello students, welcome to tutoringcluster.com. So in this video, we are going to talk about the last mode of heat transfer that is radiation. So in the previous video, we have talked about heat conduction and the Fourier law, then heat convection and Newton's law of cooling. Now let us see what do we mean by a radiation and what is the law which is related to it. So we are going to study the Stephen Boltzmann law. So if you are new to my YouTube channel, please do like and subscribe. You can also join us on the Telegram channel. So let us start with topic radiation. Now, basically a thermal radiation is generated by the emission of electromagnetic waves. So basically radiation, it is the energy emitted by the matter in the form of electromagnetic waves. Okay, so what is radiation? It is the energy emitted by the matter in the form of electromagnetic waves. Now, these waves carry away the energy from the emitting body. So the radiation takes place through a vacuum or a transparent medium, which can be either solid or liquid. So even radiation can take place through vacuum. This is important. Now thermal radiation, it is the result of a random motion of molecules. So how the matter, it is emitting the energy due to changes in electronic configuration of the atoms or molecules due to random motion of molecules in the matter. Energy is emitted by the matter, which can be in the form of electromagnetic waves. Now the movement of charged electron and proton is responsible for the emission of electromagnetic radiation. Okay, so this is how radiation takes place. So in simple language, radiation, it is nothing but energy which is emitted by the matter in the form of electromagnetic waves. So let us see some examples so that the concept is clear to you. The microwave radiation which is emitted in the oven. So we all know oven, right? It is used for what cooking purpose. So basically the radiations which are emitted in the oven, it is example of radiation. Then the ultraviolet rays which are coming from the sun. Okay, this is the simplest example. We are having a sun, right? It is releasing the energy. Okay, so ultraviolet rays which are coming from the sun, it is nothing but what? It is example of radiation. And the next example, the release of alpha particles during decaying of uranium-238 into thorium-234. It is also example of radiation. Okay, so these are some practical examples of radiation. Now, let us see the law which is related to this topic. Now, for that, first you have to define the emissive power. See, what do you mean by an emissive power? So, emissive power means emissive power it is defined as the total amount of radiation total amount of radiation emitted by a body emitted by a body per unit area per unit area and time okay so what is emissive power emissive power of any body that means how much energy that body is emitting how much energy that body is emitting per unit area and time that is nothing but emissive power so according to this law the emissive power of black body emissive power of black body is proportional to is proportional to absolute temperature to the fourth power is proportional to fourth power fourth power of its of its absolute temperature. Okay, so basically emissive power it is denoted by Eb. It is directly proportional to 
fourth power of its absolute temperature. Okay, now what will be unit of the emissive power? It is the energy, total amount of radiation emitted by a body per unit area and time, watt per meter square, watt per meter square. This is the unit of EV. So if you want to remove this proportionality symbol, EV which is equal to sigma, we are introducing a new constant into T to the power four. Now, what is this sigma? Sigma, it is a Stefan Boltzmann constant. It is a Stefan's Boltzmann constant. And its value is 5.67 into 10 to the power minus 8 watt per meter square k to the power 4. Okay, is it clear? So what is the statement? Emissive power of black body. Now what do you mean by a black body? See, there can be a black body or a white body. So white body, it is going to reflect all the energy. Black body means it is going to absorb all the energy. That's why we avoid basically in summer, we avoid the black cloth. Why we avoid the black cloth? Because it absorbs all the energy which is falling on it. Okay, you have to remember this. What is black body? Okay, so basically for black body, if you define the emissivity, emissivity it is equal to 1. For white body, emissivity it is equal to 0. Okay, so emissive power of a black body, it is proportional to 4 power its absolute temperature. So if you want to remove this proportionality symbol, I am introducing a new constant that is nothing but sigma which is nothing but stefan boltzmann constant what is the value of stefan boltzmann constant 5.67 into 10 to the power minus 8 watt per meter square k to the power 4 okay so and if you want to have the total amount of radiation in watts so it will be sigma a t to the power 4 this will be y Okay, so this is a Stefan Boltzmann law of radiation. So this is the statement and this is the mathematical form of it. So please remember what is the value of Stefan Boltzmann constant? What are the units? Then what do you mean by an emissive power? What do you mean by a black body? Right, so all the details related to this, I have explained you. So this is more than enough from your syllabus point of view so hope you have understood all the three modes of heat transfer that is the conduction convection and radiation so i have explained you with the practical examples as well as the laws which are related to it so please remember the fourier law it is related to conduction newton's law of cooling it is related to convection stephen boltzmann law it is related to radiation and also remember what are the mathematical form of all the laws. So please do like and subscribe my YouTube channel. You can join us on Telegram. I already uploaded the notes for third and fourth unit as well on the Telegram channel. You can join us and you can find those handwritten notes. Also, you can like us on Facebook. And please don't forget to share with your friends so that they will also get benefited with it. And if you have not seen my previous videos, which are on laws of thermodynamics, then I have explained the numerical part of also, numericals on heat engine, refrigeration, okay, and the heat pump. So you can go and watch all these videos. The, you can find the link of those videos in the description box. Thank you.